Recently on this channel, I have looked at many terrible mobile games. And today, I think I found my favorite. This game isn't good and doesn't make any sense like the rest of them, but anime girl high school student just hits different. I don't like how that sentence sounded actually. <laughs> and I'm sure all 10 of the reviews would agree. Now let me give you a rundown on the entire game and along the way we're going to attempt to make sense of it. At first glance, this menu looks okay. That is until you see how low quality some of the art looks. And just so you know, none of these girls are actually characters in the game. I even found this exact drawing by googling schoolgirl anime butterflies. The rewards are daily coins that just don't do anything. In fact, I don't think you can even see how many you have. What's even the point of them? We're off to a fantastic start and we haven't even hit start. Speaking of hitting start, for some reason the privacy tab is the button that's right in center. Every time I open the app, my brain subconsciously thinks that's the start button and I almost press it. But no, the start button is in the bottom right corner for some reason. So we're gonna play level base mode. I don't know what it means, but free play mode is locked so I guess we have to play it. We start off with a beautiful drone shot showing the perfectly crafted and partially submerged world, followed by our protagonist who gives us the opening lines. Gotta find apartment to live, where should I start? See, that line was precisely written to not only give us exposition, but to confuse us. <sighs> it's a film technique as old as time. Okay, next she grows taller, waves, and then we get the most unnecessary camera movement ever. The main character then says, Konnichiwa! Hope you doing fino, am looking for apartment. And immediately after that, we get the new most unnecessary camera movement ever. The new girl says, Yes, keep following the map. You well met lady. After another camera swoop, the main character says, Thank you so much. Then the red hair girl just evaporates, I guess? One more camera swoop and bam, we're off to the races. All right, so let's address the elephant in the room. The grammar is awful. From punctuation to missing spaces to just things not making sense. And for some reason, the T is lower than the H here. These are obviously going to be reoccurring problems throughout the entire game. By the way, the main character's name is Akaris. The game just takes a long time to tell us that. And not to keep lingering on the opening, but I just want to mention that I have no idea why Akaris is constantly surrounded by butterflies. At no point are they relevant. They're just like attached to the main character in many scenes, so just don't question them, I guess. If I had to have a reason for them being here, I would assume that someone found that butterfly anime schoolgirl picture online, put it in the game, and then was like, oh, we should make the main character's thing all about butterflies. So no matter what, it's probably nonsense. Or is it? All I'm gonna say is at the end of the video, I have a theory for the entire game. And the butterflies may or may not be relevant. You move around with your left thumb and move the camera with your right thumb. You can also click this button to run. But there's no good way to control all three of these buttons at the same time. So I ended up having to play like this. Also, if you were wondering what the fabulous life of a YouTuber with 85,000 subscribers looks like, just know I was playing this game during the Walmart Roblox concert. Anyway, if you couldn't tell, we're following the arrows. Once we reach the end, there's this girl who's just there, and then it pans to a chorus and she says, Hey, someone sent me here. Oh yes, here is your apartment. Really? Thank you so much. No problem. Please pay rent at time and enjoy your stay. We then just linger on her for a while. I get a notification. Then Akaris does the most subtly comical walk ever. The screen goes black and Oh, it's back, never mind. And we have successfully completed our level. Okay, to break down what we just witnessed, Akaris asks the red-haired girl for advice on finding an apartment. And so she then tells Akaris to meet a lady. So we do that and the lady just automatically gives us a place for an undisclosed amount of money. Or maybe it's free. All she says is please pay rent and enjoy your stay. Like, are these two things both optional? Because I am not capable of the second one. By the way, from this point on, I won't be commentating on every single wacky camera angle that's in this game, but just know they're in between almost every single scene. And if the pacing of this video looks weird, that's just thanks to the game. I'm not leaving anything out. Now, Okaris is laying in her bed. She says, Ugh. What's that noise? Can I sleep in peace? She then teleports. Let's turn on the TV. It's going to rain while day. Wow, great. School sent me mail regarding my jong. Let me check. Now we have a view of her laptop, which is in the bottom left 
corner of the screen for some reason. It took me a second just staring at the screen to realize I needed to answer the captcha. So I then proceed to be incredibly incorrect. I don't even know how I got this number. I'm pretty sure I just added a zero to 12 and thought that was it somehow. Anyway, I then answer correctly, but I can't continue because the continue button is now gone. I guessed I used up all my continues. This game really doesn't want you to play it. So I restart the app, enter the correct number, and we've received a letter from the Littlewood Grammar School, and it says we've been accepted. We then get directions to the place on our phone, vomit from the camera's motion sickness. A chorus then says, what a drag. Got school navigation, what now? How can I leave the house in this lovely weather? I think I should enjoy this weather by sleeping. This last message actually pops up twice. All right, let's review that. She can't sleep because there's a mysterious noise. She checks the weather. It's rainy all day. She checks her email to see if she got accepted into a school, which she does, but now she's disappointed. Then she brings out her sassy side to insult the weather, and then she just goes to bed. So my questions are, what was the noise? What's up with her obsessive hate towards rain? Why wasn't she happy? Did the noise just stop when she went back to bed? Why is there a real picture of a butterfly on the shelf next to the TV? Is she in her new place from the last chapter? And what the fuck is happening in the following scene? Did she just die from imagining herself killing somebody else? I don't know, and we'll never know, because the next scene shows her clipped inside of a bench drinking a Coke. She then litters, which is out a little bit, and then the red-headed girl from the intro is back. I saw you fainted, what happened? I don't know what happened, I felt dizzy and boom. That's it, no explanation was given or will be given. If I had to make sense of this using context clues, I would assume she has diabetes and was replenishing her sugar with a Coke? I don't know, but this is related to my theory at the end, so keep it in mind. I don't even know what's going on with the camera here, but we focus in on this guy who has clearly seen some shit and has the worst haircut ever, but that's aside the point. But apparently, Akaris has a crush on him. Then the camera spins around, showing us that the redhead is just slanted for some reason. Going back, it's clear why she's like that. The developers made her slanted to make her look normal with the camera angle they chose for the first shot, even though she still doesn't look really normal. But either way, they never adjusted her when panning the camera. And Anyway, she says, what? Are you blushing? Nope. Anyways, let's go to school. We then get a random zoom in on this couple that holds no relevance. And that's the level. Next level starts and we now have to go to the destination. So there's a couple things I noticed here. One is that the window texture goes over the trees. The telephone pole is really easy to get stuck on. And this school is filled with actual giants. All right, so we run into the school. There I noticed that the windows can't see outside. Instead, it's some weird gray void. From here, I went rogue and explored the city. The biggest thing of note here is how there's literally nothing to do, but you are able to explore this oddly gigantic city. Also, if your stamina runs out, you'll be prompted to watch an ad to refill it. And you're also able to walk straight off the side of the map and fall indefinitely. Speaking of ads, this game gives out ads way too organically. And what I mean by that is in between levels, there's usually an ad. But for some reason, the game's music music carries over to the ad and there's no pause when the ad starts, which gives these ads a seamless transition. So a couple times I was confused by an ad thinking it was the real game. Anyway, I reset the level and then do everything properly. The stairs are incredibly glitchy, but once we conquer them, we start our first day at the new school. The pink teacher introduces us to the class. All right, guys, we have our new student, Akris here. Yes, this is the first time we see her name. Also here, it looks like he's just heavily breathing while Akris gets visibly annoyed at nothing. It then pans to this creepy ass empty classroom. And then someone says this? Is this the result when these three children try to put their remaining brain cells together? <laughs> All right, she waves and the teacher says, looks like no one's interested. What is... <sighs> I don't even know, man. Problem on board, solve it, and they notice you for sure. Okay, I can try. And now I'm expected to solve this? So we go from 12 times 12 to this. I couldn't even solve 12 times 12. Also, isn't this grammar school? By the way, maybe I'm a little late to this, but I'm now just noticing the irony of this school being called grammar school when this game's grammar is borderline illegible. Anyway, I did the math on my own with no one else's help all by myself and got the answer right it's multiplied itself so a plus b times a plus b and then when you're multiplying 
parenthesis, right? What does this have to do with grammar? Grammar. And that's the level. Now we have to find Yuki, who ends up being the red-haired girl. She's just down the stairs in the gym. Sup, how is your day at school? Ah. Uh -huh. Started as mess, but good ending. XD. Honestly, that line is perfect copy pasta material. Oh, that's relief. Are you free? Yes, I had only one lecture today. Okay, go home and I'm going to pick you up. We fade to black and I guess that's what happens. Car is here. Is this Yuki? Yes, it's me. Let's go. We have lots of fun ahead. OMG, is that him? She's of course referring to the guy who's pretending to drive a car. He's the boy she has a crush on. You know, the one who's seen some shit. She gets in the car and now we're at the club dancing and clipping into each other. Also, they're with another guy now. Here I had to tap on the screen. I believe the implication is that she's singing. However, I hear no singing and nothing changes aside from where I have to tap. It then pans to the guy that Akaris likes clipping into another girl. And now she's just on the floor, depressed I assume? Aw, uh, am I the only one noticing double standards here? He saw you clipping with Yuri. He thought you were taken and decided to clip with a different girl. I don't sympathize with Akaris here at all. Also, they were dancing with another guy. A miscommunication all around, I'm sure. Next level has us kicking soccer goals with careful timing. And that's it. <laughs> the next is a return to the laptop in the bottom left corner. She gets a blurry email about a test result saying her performance is alarming and she needs to meet with the teacher who sent the email in her office. Apparently she got a 50% on her physics test. When's the grammar test? Why are you clipping through your beanbag chair? And why is your cat terrifying looking? I worked hard for that test, have to do something about it. We're now back at the school with all the giants. We go up the glitchy stairs. Now we're tapping to add ice. It then pans to this girl walking. We then watch her walk for 20 entire seconds. Then she gets in the classroom, takes a sip from the cup that we just put ice in. She farts, runs away, and Akaris is watching laughing. Okay, so Akaris fails the test, and then she decides to put the magical farting ice into her drink for revenge? I'm not rooting for this girl at all. Now we're taking a bath and she gets a call from her landlord. Hey, just to remind you, your apartment fees due day is tomorrow, so don't be late. I do know about that. Don't worry, I will pay you tomorrow. Also, Yuri is on the line as well for some reason. Or maybe this is another call. I don't know. There's no pause in between these dialogues. New text, yes. Honey, what happened? All right, so right here, I imagine the developers made a new text box that has the default text of saying new text, but they never deleted it. All right, so she says, new text, yes. Honey, what happened? Um, I have due day of my apartment dues tomorrow. Tomorrow, and I'm short some money. Frowny face. Ha 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 ha. I don't have that much money. But. But what? I'm sick so you can join my shift at Burger Shop and you will cover your short amount of apartment due. Figuring out what these guys are saying just really feels like a fun puzzle to me. Also, I love the dramatic pause in the dialogue here for no reason. I don't have much money, but. But what? <coughs> kind of sick. You want to cover my shift? So dramatic. Thank you so much, XOXO. Now we make and sell three burgers, which involves us just tapping the ingredients in the corner. And we get literal fat stacks. After we make three burgers, Akaris' crush walks up. Akara says, what the? Come on. Really? Ryu, who is the crush, says, My sister Yuki, where is she? Okay, this is low-key a plot twist. Ryu and Yuki are siblings. Um, hey, I'm talking to you. Ah, uh, she is sick. I am covering her shift. Okay, never mind. Good day. Pleasure is mine. Have a good day. She then gets a call from her landlord. Not that the phone rings or Akaris reaches for her phone. The landlord just pops up. She says, hey, I got apartment fee from you. Thanks. It is crazy how fast things work in this world. There's a level that I forgot to record here. Nothing happens aside from Akara swimming and all we do is tap the screen for her to swim. Next level has Ryu offering Akaris a ride. Thanks for ride. Bus was never coming today. No problem. I got you. Are you friends with Yuki? Yeah, we homies. She is my best friend. And then some smiley faces appear over Ryu. See, I told you that he saw the two clipping together and assumed that they were together. But now that he knows that they're just friends, he's happy. Anyway, a self-driving car crashes into them. I think Ryu's dead. And now we're fighting enemy Annie. My light was even confused. All right, no more light. Okay, okay. 
So much just happened. We were getting some development. Then a car crash happens and now I'm fist fighting. When I killed enemy Annie, she just disappeared. So then I messed around inside of the cards for a while trying to figure out what else to do. Eventually, I just hit the punch button again and she did her special attack or whatever the hell this was and I beat the level. The next level shows Akaris's empty room. And that's the game. No matter how many times I tried to continue, I just got this screen. All right, I know I shouldn't read into this specifically because I know this is just the result of a bad game being bad. However, here's my theory. I don't think Akaris could take the pain of Ryu dying so she offed herself. I'm just saying if this is somehow meant to be taken literal, what else would this represent? But here's where the theory gets very interesting. In Japan, butterflies symbolize the soul of the living dead. And if you recall during this game, Akaris is constantly covered with butterflies along with a butterfly picture on her wall. So then I'm starting to think, was she dead the whole time? And then I noticed there's scenes where she is covered in butterflies and scenes where she's not. However, I don't think there's any correlation to when she is covered in butterflies and not. So I don't think there's much to pull from that specifically. However, there was that one weird scene where she collapsed. So a part of me is thinking this is some out of order storytelling and that was really the first scene. She dies at the beginning. And then the rest of the story is just watching her recall the events up to her death, which would be the story that we just saw. So that's my overall guess. Akaris was actually dead the whole time because she offed herself due to her love interest dying. But this goes just one layer deeper. When Yuri and Akaris were talking over the phone, Yuri called Akaris honey. So my theory is that Yuri has a crush on Akaris, but Akaris has no idea and did not share the same feelings. For example, Yuri took the dancing and clipping together at the club as a sign, but Akaris thought they were just having some platonic fun. So now Yuri lost her sibling and her love interest. So I don't know. I think this game is just very dark. Hey, what's up? I'm editing right now. In fact, I'm almost done editing and I actually found a new development in my theory. Well, this isn't a new development actually. I, I suppose this is just a whole new theory on its own. So I just found out that the person who shoots the gun in Arika's little daydream was none other than Enemy Annie. And she also sports a wizard hat, so my new theory is that this entire thing is just a bunch of wizard shit and it doesn't really make sense. I went to see what other games that this game development studio has made and the only one worth noting is Open World Gangster Game. This game is just as ridiculous as Anime Girl High School Student. At times, it's even more ridiculous. I'm going to try something new and review this game via a YouTube short, so look out for that upload coming tomorrow. I'd of course really appreciate it if you checked it out. But that's all I got, thank you for watching and I hope you all have a fantastic Tuesday.